Nice roll on, roll off the brakes. First gear feeling nice. Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling, flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling, I'm like yeah, what it do, penthouse man What is going on, Rage Sports Live Trade, welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Motorsports 7, back with some more of the Drivers Cup Today is episode number 4, this series has been a lot of fun and I've been trying to make it as enjoyable as possible for you guys without sitting here and looking at all the kind of the grindiness of the game obviously we have done five previous races to get to this point right now we are in the group rally spec and uh, we're in the evolution championship now we have moved up quite a bit from our driver level from last episode we have a lot more money and well i'm feeling lucky to buy a crate we're going to be doing that probably in a later episode doing a build on whatever we pick up so make sure you guys do stay locked on the channel make sure you guys do subscribe if you are brand new and well i got a lot of driver gear uh from leveling up and obviously maple valley just picked this one up and i'd love to know down below what is your favorite driver tar gear that you own there is a lot of really cool gears out here and i mean just going through some of these here we have a clown like what is that i mean we have a mime we have a skeleton i mean there's a lot that they have added into this game so it's really cool to see we also have unlocked a breakout championship which we will be starting for today man lots of stuff going down we're driving ken blocks ford focus rs rx uh i mean this thing's a monster man we have 478 horsepower on here sport tires all wheel drive uh with the wheel it's gonna be fun man mazda raceway laguna seca four laps it's our last race man then we complete the cup and of course like i said if you guys do want to keep seeing more episodes don't forget to slap that like button. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, man. One of my favorites to date. And uh, we need to come in first place in order to finish off this championship. Six circuits, though. Six circuits. Uh, it was a little bit of a grind. I mean, I hope it doesn't get any more than six. There's seven. I mean, Jesus. Definitely got to sit there for a little bit. Um, speaking of sitting for a little bit, if you guys have been following Twitter, well, uh, you will have known, I did the endurance race, I finished it, man, 23 laps was a long race, man, it was about 56 minutes on Spa, and it was fun, man, it was a lot of fun, uh, I've mastered Spa now, I'll tell you that, I got the C7, I leveled up about three times, and I do believe I got about 150,000 credits as well, too, so uh, it wasn't that bad, completed it got it off the bucket list i hope there's no more endurance races though man i really do uh they're long man they're very long and i mean i started it the night before and unfortunately i had to go out i went out to a party and you know, I, you know, I had a few too many that night came home uh totally forgot about the race woke up the next morning to find my xbox was actually off like it was shut off no lights at all that was a terrible corner um but I was like, God damn, man, I just lost all my progress. Mind you, I was only six laps in, but that was enough for me to be like, yeah, I'm not going to redo the race. So I turned on the Xbox to find it was still where I left it, man. I don't understand how the Xbox does that, where it's able to kind of save your last progress before you log off. I mean, I don't know if you guys have had a scare like that. If you have, leave it down below. Now, in other news as well, too, if you guys don't know, there was a money glitch uh, that popped out. I did a video on that, talking about it. Um, we leveled up quite a bit, man. I, I really feel greasy for it, but at the same time, people are upset about the VIP bonus problem. If you guys don't know, that's been a really big thing online. Uh, you know, there's about 100 and I think like 60 one-star reviews on Forza 7's VIP bundle. Uh, long story short, I do believe people are upset that you're not getting the VIP bonus for the entirety of the game. Um, as for other titles, you would, right? I mean, you'd have that bonus carry over for every single month, uh, where we only get five cards. Five measly cards for VIP bonus, which I personally think is not a lot. Maybe they screwed up and, you know, they just... They did a mistake. I mean, I don't know if they're going to give us a bonus forever. Uh, you know, maybe we'll get cards given to us every single month or crates. I don't know. Uh, but I do feel like uh, they definitely need an explanation because a lot of people are very upset 
Um, and, well, I didn't feel that guilty doing the money glitch. That's all I'm saying right now, and I did it. If you guys are wondering, stop, what the hell? What do you mean money glitch? Well, I'll leave that video down below in the description box for you guys to check out. We just hit a perfect apex. Game said good, though. Okay. If you guys did it, though, let me know what level you got up to, man. I did, like, I think I'm, like, 55, maybe, right now? 55? Collector tier level 5? Uh, we did some advancing, man. And, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm not mad about it. I need cash, so it was the perfect thing to do. I'm trying to make these vids and, you know, unlock cars and such. And, obviously, uh, it's a perfect way to do so. I mean, a lot of people were just upset, though, at the fact that you actually had to do the races and i mean i'm not mad about that people are like oh my god this year you gotta grind for it i mean that's what you should be doing regardless i know a lot of people just want to hop online and play but at the end of the day it is a game and there's gotta have some sort of offline meat to it right i mean you can't just sit here and play online 100 percent of the time not everybody can do that um so i do definitely feel uh to the point where you know yes you gotta do the races and you know for the first time i've said this before cars actually have value to them where you know you see something you're like oh god damn man you have that um right so i mean that's really what i like at the end of the day about forza motorsports 7 we need to pass this man it's last lap this guy's very very elusive here oh we got him we got him come here ken block why are you driving the same damn car oh he breaks so damn early just brake check me. I swear to God, he did that on purpose. You know what? I'm going to be greasy, man. I'm going to cut this right there. I appreciate that, man. Oh, I'm going to try to drift this last corner. I know it's going to be risky as shit. Come on. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Why does he look like he's pulling? Oh, whoa, I wasn't going to take him out, man. I was going to see if he could catch me. He did it, though. Not bad. He was going. Whoa, you see a little glitch out there? Okay. All right, man. We are done. Mazda Raceway, four laps. <sighs> okay. Forza Group Rally completed. Well, my damn reward points off of that shit. That was only 2,000, too. That was a lot. We didn't have any mods equipped, so I'm not going to get any bonuses. That After so you old. win the Forza Drivers Cup. You like my suit? Camoed. It's real true, baby. Look at that. 1.3. Almost 1.4 million. However, though, it goes very, very quick. Once you start building cars, uh, you know, you'll just start shaving that cash down. So I'm really just trying to gather up as much possible um, so I can do drift builds and, you know, do those builds that I want to do uh, on a nightly basis. Because usually when you get online, you know, you kind of go into a party, you make a car, tune it, and then you go online. Where now, uh, you know, you may, be, you may be having to work for some races before you do so. Now, if we go into the Evolution Cup, we have the Sport Coupe, uh, Forza Group Rally, which I just did. These are all six. Oh, my God. Formula Ford Spec. Now, I'm curious. Does that mean the next ones are going to be seven, eight, nine? Oh, my God. Hot Hatch Genesis, Evolution Open, uh, 1975 Ford Bronco Autocross. Oh, my God. I'm so down. Top Gear Police Bowling again and the Factory Spec Racing Porsche 911 GT1. What do we got to do? Against a field of identical vehicles. Okay. That sounds actually a lot of fun. We're going to get the police car, Bronco, and the Porsche for doing all of those. Uh, now, let's just quickly recap where we stand in our Drivers' Cup. So, like I said, we did the Endurance Race. Very happy I did that. I've still yet to do the Open Wheels Legend. So, maybe we'll tackle that, finish up the Breakout, and then maybe we'll do one more on, the, uh, on that Evolution status here. But we have done the Sport Compact. The modern SUV, uh, the breakout open, the Porsche Spider, which we did last time. Uh, and then we also revisited a few of these ones. So let's start off with the open wheel legends. Uh, I don't know what this is going to be. We're going to get the BT24, though. Wondrous thing, packed with excitement, danger, and triumph. And when racers pushed to go faster, they squeezed every ounce of force they could. Every step of the way, legends were born. You have the chance to go back and relive epic racing moments and celebrate the drivers who made them. Prize crates, man. This is what drivers I was. Who oh. can get into anything and go fast, and who drive for the pure love of competition and racing. And for that reason, apart from talent, their motivation made them a champion in a lot of different disciplines. Okay, Brabham 24, man. Let's quickly go into Forza Vista here. Let's check this out. 
And let's just see what we're running, man. Look at that V8. Oh my god. It is huge. This thing is so reckless. And the, I mean, just look at the transmission. Like, what? Oh my god. I've never seen something quite like this before. Uh, very, very unique setup here. Really excited to drive this. And just look at the slicks, though, man. It looks so nice in Forza 7. It really does. And I mean, I could just go ahead and screen cap this as a photo if I really wanted. Hide the HUD right there. Boom, man. We can take pictures with people. In the Forza HUD, that's pretty dope. Look at that shot, man. That is a fire shot. Oh my god. Okay, we need to drive this thing. And before we start, hopefully one of the Apple employees are watching. Uh, I ended up cracking my iPhone screen by accident the other day. Long story short, it fell, man. It just hit the floor, bounced, and it landed like this. But it actually cracked uh, the whole screen. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but. It is, uh, it's not good, man. It definitely sucks. You can see my fan right there. But there's the crack going around horizontally, and it's way up at the top right there, too. So it's definitely, um, it sucks, man. You know, I've never really had a phone before that has a crack in it. Mind you, it works, but, um, shit, man. My very first screen crack on my iPhone 7, man. I'm not happy. I just got this thing last year. And I'm not going to repair the screen because I want 140 bucks to repair it minimum. So, uh, I'm just gonna have to ride it out and hopefully I don't do any more damage with the damn thing. Okay, yep. I don't know why it starts me off just revving the shit out of it, man. It does it every single time. We're getting lanes closed, okay? This thing is gonna be so dangerous, man. Oh. These drivers back in the day had so much courage. Be able to drive something like this and I mean the safety standards back in the day obviously were not the greatest right I mean a lot of people did pass away unfortunately but if you were driving these like holy shit drivers are highly respected where I need to take first place on this guaranteed I'm just trying to keep this thing steady man it just wants to lose it look at this almost caught wheels That backfire in my face was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on, baby! We're still technically on the road. A big old V8 is pushing this thing around the corners. We're barely in control. Go for a slide? Why not, man? Make this inside move. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Man, this is so treacherous right now. Like, man, spitting in my face. A lot of fun, though, because you're constantly fighting it, man. Just trying to maintain that fine line of grip and a little bit of loose traction, man, just to let this thing float through the corners. In seventh place, two laps left. This is going to be tough, though, to come in first. We're going to have to quit. Oh, to finish top three. Maybe I could have had it, but uh, we're going to have to restart it for the main reason is I need to get in front of the pack early. Otherwise, I'm going to get left, and I'm never going to hit third place. So we got to make sure we get there fast enough, uh, even if that means, you know, maybe cutting some corner. I mean, I'm, I didn't say that. I'm just, just uh, you know, speaking out loud a little bit. See what we can do. Third person. Oh, yup, yup, yup. Don't touch my wheels, man. Trying to find that fine balance of throttle control, and I think... Oh, I got a little bit crazy on that. There's third. That's all we need to do is third. We don't need to be a hero. There we go. Fighter. Get off that grass. No, no, no. No, no, no. Son of a bitch, man. This guy's about to pass my ass up here. Well, I'm gonna block you, sir. Gotta do it fair. I'm gonna try it on this corner coming up right here. Ooh! Solid pass. It was clean. Do a little bit of the grass with me. Now I'm feeling first, though. Oh, oh, oh!
Oh, you son of a bitch. Whew. I will take it. Whew. Okay, man. Second place with the backfire in the slow-mo. I hope that guy caught that on camera, man. You seen that, man? Okay. Well, we didn't get first, but we got second, and that's good enough to complete the showcase event. Big thank you on that. Yeah, there we go, baby. Taking on the Brabham, and uh, that is going to be 58 completed. What do we want? The Ultima? You know what? I'm going to take the Ultima on that one. 50 grand for that. Number 23, Nissan Motorsport Ultima. That's actually going to be a lot of fun to drive. And that should up our collector score as well, too. Just that slight bit, man. Leave me your driver level and collector score down below. Um, I know, obviously, uh, we completed the event. We already had the trophy mind you but i do like the fact that we're completing these and getting the cars for doing so so that's going to definitely up our collector score we have done every showcase up to the evolution championship i think this is going to be a perfect opportunity to take on the 1975 ford bronco uh hoonigan autocross so like it's a specific okay hold on. hoonigan autocross and it'll be a wake-up call overdosing on raw power will plow you through the cone gates giving you a ton of time penalties you need precision, handling, and speed to make your way through the cones to get the best time. Think finesse, not force. You where to look, and you will continue to actually improve to, because, you know, in the beginning, that first time, you're going to be looking at those pylons that are almost right in front of you. The tenth time, you'll be smart enough to be looking at those pylons two corners ahead. So you'll start to learn to expand your visual, and it'll learn to be precise, and you'll learn to be smooth because... You know, spectacular is not always fast on an autocross. So smooth, precise, and keep your eyes up and look down. You know, look further down than just in front of the car. Thank you, Lynn. Shit. I actually it was a good mental reminder, though, to look ahead. And that was one of the biggest things as well that I learned when I was in Palm Springs, when I was doing the autocross there. Uh, you know, they were saying, make sure you look up. You look at the next few cones ahead of you, uh, you know, to get ready and set for that cone. So you're not just split second decision. Um, it, you know, it's a great discipline. I really would love to be able to do it with the G, which I will be doing next year. Uh, you know, I, I really hate the fact that I really didn't do much this year except for one track day. But that track day that I did with the G, though, uh, it really set me back a few steps. And that was, you know, the biggest problem was that I could have went to more track days, but uh you know we just we just couldn't get the car ready in time so uh you know lots of things going on this year lots of things moving forward next year and i'm just excited man hope you guys are going to be a part of the channel to see it all happen we're in our bronco autocross i can't see a goddamn thing hold on now shit all right we got this gate oh yeah okay all right i definitely was not ready to be for one in third person can not being able to see the cones in front of me and two, I forgot to look up, all right? I mean, I forgot to look ahead of me. I, I know she just said it. All right, we're going to do it this time, though. I got you. Here we go. Right off the line. A little bit of tire chirps. Debating if I would want to bring this down to first. Yeah, I'm going to. I know probably you don't want to bring it down to first, but the fact that this Bronco has a lot of low-end torque, we're going to be using first a little bit more than I think that I would normally. Oh, shit. Well, be honest, Lynn, it's hard to look up when I can't look to the right. Did I get it? Oh, no, we got to do the whole damn track. Oh, my God. Okay. It's a lot. Oh, shit. We're good. We're good. Nice roll on, roll off the brakes. First gear feeling nice. Oh shit. We're good, we're good. Build up a little bit of speed. I do like these arrows on here to really show you which way you need to be in. And I don't know if Forza 6 did that. As you guys know, uh, uh, like this is not a new discipline in the game. We had this way back on Forza 6, but now the fact, though, um, we have the arrows. I don't know if that's a new thing. Let me know down below, please. Got a lot of these up ahead here. Oh, shit. No, man. We got one. One penalty. Son of a bitch. 
two penalties, man. No. 61 of 143 passed. That's quite a bit. Thought for sure I hit that. Okay. I'm gonna say, are we taking a left? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Here we go. We're actually doing not that bad. I thought I was gonna do a lot worse. But the time will speak for itself, though. I'd love to be able to see the replay on this, too, actually. Oh, I didn't hit them! Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That's two. Not that bad. Oh, yeah. That's going to be one. Oh, no. That's four. No. That's fine. Oh, my God. Right at the very end, I choke. We need a target of... Oh, we're going to make it regard... Oh, shit. I wasn't even looking. That could have been real bad. I thought I was done. Oh, look at that. Yep. Might as well just... Yep. There we go. Call it a night. Son of a bitch. And that's where I just screwed up. We are whipping her through. 250. Look at what we needed. A 335. We may be good. I'm so nervous right now. I don't even care if I'm grinding gears at this point. Oh, I hit one. We should... Are we going to make it? 316, we're good. Oh my God, thank you, man. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's episode here on Forza Motorsports 7 doing yet another showcase event, man. This was a lot of fun. And the fact that we can now watch this in the replays, uh, that's even better, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to slap that like button. You guys follow me on Facebook. Instagram and Twitter all of which are found down below huge thank you for coming around to these let's plays man I've been actually having a lot of fun with the driver's cup and I feel like it's just gonna get even better unlocking more cars more money more things to do Don't forget to slap that like button to put a side chain. I'm out Peace.